2012, we switched to electronic fuel injection, or EFI as it's called by the people in racing or industry. And we did this because it was a precise way to control the air fuel ratio that goes into the engine. The engine is the heart of the car, always has been. So we've gone to EFI and the ECU as the brain that controls that heart. With the help of Freescale and the processors that we use from them, we have certain sensors that uh, pick up information from the car and from the driver, and then other output sensors that tell the engine how much fuel to put in the cylinders, when to fire the cylinders. This precision of air-fuel ratio enables us to improve the performance of the engine and also improve fuel consumption. Well, every car in the Sprint Cup Series has a McLaren Freescale ECU installed in it, and the ECU has a logging function, so it logs data for lots of parameters throughout the race. So those processors run at one kilohertz or 1,000 times a second. In the unit, the internal components that we have require just over 8,000 individual solder joints. Reliability is one of the keys that we put on our equipment. We've had over a million and a half miles of racing to date, and not one car has been put out of a race because of our ECU with the Freescale processors. The Freescale Wide Open Award is an award which is reserved for our highest level of racing, which is the Sprint Cup Series. And the award is based on the criteria of the driver who drives the most aggressively in the last 20% of the race. One of the parameters we look at is throttle position and then we go through for each driver and sum up the amount of time spent between 90% and 100% throttle. The driver who has the most amount of time in that throttle range is awarded the Freescale Wide Open Award. Let's look at a case study from Phoenix International Raceway in March. The graph shown here shows the top five finishers for that event. What this graph shows is the throttle position going into turns one and two on a particular lap. So when you look at this data, what you can see is the point at which the driver lets off the throttle to enter the corner. The first car, the blue line, the number four, was able to drive deeper into the corner and stay in the throttle for a longer amount of time. Going through the corner, they're usually off throttle. Then coming out of the corner, the four car had a good handling car and was likely in the lead on this lap. He was able to accelerate quickly to wide open and maintain wide open throttle all the way through the following straightaway. The opposite situation would be the 24 car. The 24 car wasn't able to drive as deep into the corner, had to let off the throttle slightly early, and then coming out of the corner, wasn't able to get on the throttle as quick as the four car. So he had a, a lag. On top of the lag, he also had some traffic or slippage of his tires through the corner and couldn't really maintain wide open throttle. So it took all the way to this point to be able to get back to wide open throttle. So this is the difference between drivers and how the amount of time spent at wide open throttle varies on a lap. For this particular event, the four car won the Freescale Wide Open Award. 